Shalom. First and foremost, give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shimei Awashah by Shimei Kakwadash. <coughs> Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, the Word, and He calls God, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, and it means He exists. And this is a depiction of Him right here. Yahweh Shah's name was the only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, who real name in the Hebrew is uh, Yahweh Shah, and his name means he ex uh, he delivers. But Shemesh in the name of Kakodas is the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone Ruel. Peace and blessings unto the sincere. I keep this push forth in the truth of the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom unto your brothers and keep pushing. <clears throat> and a double shalom unto the Israelites that look like the other nations. And it's a short wide theme. I want to say shalom unto your brothers and sisters as well. My name is Dawood from G Mesh Line, St. Louis Camp, and I'm coming back out with another video. And this video, I'm me uh, talking about immortality. Alright. Um Adam Nata Zakbach from South Carolina, he did a video on it. And the brothers, I seen a few other brothers do a video on it. And just decided to get my two cents in about immortality, because that's what we're about to enter into. You're about to enter into eternal rest. All right. So, yeah, um, the bodies that the Lord is going to give us is going to be a hybrid of. Of um, like a mortal man, I like mean, you still can eat and sleep and drink and uh, have children. But at the same time, you're never going to die again. Right. Because the angels, they, they don't die, but they don't have sex. All right. So with that being said, I can't wait for that, you know, because uh, this body that we in now. Um, man, it's decrepit, you know, it gets sick, you're subject to sin, <clears throat> all of the above. All right, got wicked ass thoughts, uh, got weaknesses, see? And I can't wait to be uh, per perfected, and that's what we fighting so hard for, we fighting to be perfected. But we know that two-thirds of you new girls are two Native Americans, they're going to get cut off, you're not going to get it, because hey, the Lord is not dealing with you like that. Um, and I just pray that, that I make it and that the Lord continue to deal with me and that I stay in this truth and, uh, fight to the end. Cause hey, we don't know. All right. Cause anyone, any, any one of us can, can catch a demon. All right. And that's why we got to continue to fight. Hey, it's a fight to stay in the truth. All right. Cause hey, it's easy. Like, oh, okay. I'm going to just, you know, instead of going out on a Saturday or whatever, um, or whatever day that you go out, I'm going to just stay in the house. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to teach, you know, that was uh, a different dispensation at the time or whatever these type of excuses that these scoffers and um, other people make. All right. And. I just want to look at the word immortality. So this is Im immortality, the ability to live forever, eternal life. <laughs> right. Eating the fruit gate of God's immortality, which we know that's a damn lie. Eating the fruit gate of God's death. All right. Because if you can receive that, um, the Adamites, the sons of God. That's in Genesis, the uh, sixth chapter, I believe. At uh was well, starting off with Adam all right, and his wife, which they were both so-called black men. Uh, black men, it's like your black men and black women, so-called black people. And when uh, Eve, she ate of that fruit, a eh, and she gave it to her husband, and guess what? We all die. We all subject to sin now. And because these women, they already celebrated the death of Ke uh, Kevin Samuels. And they just go to show you how they really feel about you and how deep the serpent's venom is in their system, right? And shit is embedded in them. Now, that poison is a part of them now, you know? And it's, it's really no going back for some of them. All right, but hey, we about to enter into uh, eternal life, so I wanted to start off with this. This is 1 Corinthians 15 and 17, and it reads... <clears throat> And if Hamashiach be not raised, your faith is vain, and ye are yet in your sins. 
Then they also which are fallen asleep in the Mashiach are, are perished. If in this life only we have hope in the Mashiach, we are all of men most miserable, right? So if uh, you don't have hope in the Mashiach through the right doctrine, guess what? Hey, you a miserable person, you know? And the Lord, hey, he taking out a lot of uh, Israelites, you know, they're not a part of the elect, nothing like that. They're not in the truth, but they kind of carry themselves halfway decent, you know. But it's according to this world standard, so they're not fully woke. Like Kevin Samuels, he was a so-called Christian, right? He was, um, you know, he watched uh, the Israelites, but guess what? He couldn't see past America. You know, he kept trying to, um, you know, make it in this society. All right. But this society is about to be destroyed. All right. <clears throat> so, Lord, hey, he just took him out. You know, because if you don't, if you don't um, change, like, like once you hear this gospel, if, if you don't change, you know, you keep doing what you want to do. Eventually, the Lord is going to just take you out. All right. So this is 21. It says, now verse 20, so like you. But now it's a Mashiach risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. Yeah. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in a Mashiach we shall all be made alive. All right, because if you can receive that, hey, the Lord was Adam. All right. So, yeah, he, he made a mistake in his past life and he fixed it in his last life, which is his current life now, which he's going to be Yahweh Shah forever. He delivers forever, <coughs> you know, but every man in his own order, Hamashiach, the first fruits afterward, they are Hamashiach at his coming. Then come at the end when he shall deliver up the kingdom of God, which does the people first, even the father. When he shall have put down the rule and all the authority and power. For he must reign to he have put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy shall be destroyed is death. For he have put all things under his feet. But when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that the Most High may be all in all, right? Because uh, he gave his kingdom to his Son, right? Um, the majority of people, they don't believe in the one who you call God, you know, because first things first, you got to believe that he exists, you know, and that's his name. He is. That's why we push those names so heavily. He exists. He is. <clears throat> and next, you got to believe the right doctrine, you know, because there's levels to this truth. Because you got many different Israelites that's two thirds that quote unquote believe in God, but the Lord ain't dealing with them like that, all right. And with with that being said, um, you got to believe that He is a so called black man, and you got to teach that He is a so called black man, because Esau Edom, which is the so called white man, he teaches that God is white. That's why you got those images of Cesare Borgia. To all the um, planet of the uh, earth. All right. So let's look at some of those images. Yeah, like with the finger and all that. You see, because this is what um, those uh, Edomites drew depicted. Uh, for the Most High and the finger and all that, which is basically uh, Renaissance art, all right? Uh, changing the likeness of the images. And yeah, that's what Esau Edom did. Like everybody just a bunch of naked babies and like, Adam was really, really naked. You know, like he wasn't wearing clothes, <laughs> all right? Because if you okay with that, then like, like here it is like a lot of you people y'all talk about us pushing that 
Uh, it, it doesn't matter what color God is, but then you don't have a problem with this. You don't have nothing to say against uh, Esau Edom <clears throat> and the uh, false images that he came up with. See, so with that being said, hey, that's that's very hypocritical, all right? And y'all gonna have to repent for that, but hey, only the elect is gonna repent. So you're gonna have to um, keep pushing regardless. All right. So you got to accept this image right here, which we're not saying that this is the most high and nothing like that, but it's just a representation of him. Just a depiction. This is, um, first Corinthians 15 and 40. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, right? And celestial is the bodies that the uh, angels have, all right? Immortal. And bodies terrestrial, that is where you get the word terrain from, which means the ground, because man came from the ground. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and the glory of the stars, for one star differ from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption, but it is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body there, and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. And the last, Adam, was made a quickening spirit. I'll bet that was not the first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthly. The second man is of is the Lord from heaven. All right. So yeah, it's talking about a, a reincarnated version of our Lord and our Savior. And right? so the, the second man is the Lord from heaven, because when he came down again as uh, Yahweh Shah, he got it right. You know, he was perfect. He didn't sin at all. As is the earthly, such are they also that are earthly. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthly, we should also bear the image of the heavenly. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of the Most High. Neither the corruption inherit incorruption, right? So flesh and blood. Because when we get beamed up, and what the word isn't called UFOs. Let's see if I can find that. So chariots. Just type in UFO. So we get beamed up in these ships right here that you see. Um, what's it got? <laughs> it look like somebody getting abducted. All right. And that's what we're going to get uh, uh, abducted, uh, caught up, you know, because, hey, Hey, the Lord owns us, you know, and that's the um, that's the metaphor, because uh, we the wife of the Most High, all right, and um, yeah, let's keep reading, verse 51, behold, I show you a mystery, we should not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. For when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Yeah. So death is swallowed up in victory, because once we put on those new bodies, hey, um, hey, that's it, you know, just from here on out for the rest of all eternity. So you got to think about that, you know, because that shit, Jay can't even see past living over a hundred for real, for real, you know, because, um, you know, man's uh, life expectancy was brought down. Low, you know, that's all because of sin and working all year round nonstop. So stress and then, then his uh, food is killing us. 
you know? So we got to keep pushing so we can get those new body shit. I, I want those new body shit. I don't want nothing in this damn kingdom, man. I mean, yeah, like, Jake see stuff here and there that he, like, you know, might buy a damn game system or might buy a a new car or he might get a better apartment or a better house or whatever and that's fine to danny but at the end of the day this whole place is about to be destroyed so it doesn't matter you know verse 55 oh death where is thy sting oh grave where is thy victory the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law but thanks be to god which giveth us the victory through our lord yahweh shah hamashiach right so hey, the lord giving us a uh, victory you know, because a hey, uh, Yahweh shot, hey, he conquered death. So uh, guess what? We gonna have to conquer death too. You know, whether if we gotta get put to death or if uh, the Lord save us, you know, get us about the um, the hell hole. You know, we gotta get a head chopped off or gotta get put on the firing squad. All right, well shit, that's gonna hurt. But hey, it man, it doesn't even matter, man. You know, um, cause uh, we, we're gonna be good for all eternity. He said, "Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord." Right? So it's not in vain. You know, from what we doing here, cause they all these people talking about some yeah, yeah, y'all wasting y'all life going out there to teach. You know, I got to live my life. I got to get this NBA contract. I got to get this soccer contract. I got to get this rap deal. I got to go to school and get this degree. And, well, you know, which brothers got degrees and all that. Um, but, you know, we're not trying to make it in this world. All right. So, hey, forget it, man. Forget it, forget it, forget it. You know, and they already, you know, trying to. Um, Esau Edom trying to push uh, a fourth, a fourth hokey pokey, if you know what I mean, a fourth venom juice, but hey, that, that shit ain't gonna work, man, because a lot of people is not doing it, man, they not, they, they not cooperating, so he's just gonna have to just come another way, you know, gonna, gonna have to force people to do it. And what's that's going to cause uh, martial law and rioting, looting, you know, because pe cause people already see the the sword coming. And because, uh, hey, that smoke and mirrors that Esau Edom is putting out there, it's not working. And the smoke and mirrors that your woman is putting out there, that shit ain't going to work. That shit ain't working either. Because, like, you, uh, not to get on women, but, like, when you discuss, like, body counts and stuff like that with women, they, um... Shit, they get angry, you know, because it it uh, forces them to look in the mirror to see who they really are, you know. So Revelation two and twenty six, and he that overcometh and keep my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with the rod of iron, as vessels of a potter shall they be broken to silver's, even as I received of my father. Right. So if you overcome. The, um, the the BS that we about to uh, go through, which is not really BS, but uh, it's a purification process in order to enter into eternal life. All right. Because I, I, all of us got many, 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 many flaws, many flaws. So this uh, hell that we about to go into is about to perfect us. All right. Revelation 2 and 9. Hop it back up. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. For none of those things which thou shalt suffer, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Yeah, so hey, the Lord already knows what we're going through—the tribulation, you know, the hardships—and He know the blasphemy them will say they are Jews and are not. 
So you got a whole race of people that saying they Jews. All right. But what did the scripture say? They not. Yep. And um, yeah, the Lord said you, you got to be faithful unto death. And the Lord will give us a crown of life. All right. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be heard of the second death. I right, said so the second death is what? It's nuclear missiles. These nuclear missiles right here. It's about to be shot. The four corners of the earth, Satan too, right there. My um, Vlad Putin. All right. So yep. Yeah. So hey, so hey, even if you uh do uh get your head chopped off or whatnot. Or, or whatever happened to you. Um, hey, it's not going to be as bad as fucking getting burnt alive by those nuclear missiles. Then um, your tongue and your damn eyeballs burning out of your head and your mouth. All right. Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Or say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet. And to know that I have loved thee. Yeah. So the Lord's going to make those um, Amicalites worship at our feet. You know, starting off with our Lord and our Savior. Yahweh by Shemiah uh, Hashem. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Yeah. Uh, Lord going to keep the word of his... Um, well, we had kept the, the word of the Lord's patience. So the Lord said going to keep us from the hour of temptation. You know? And how is he going to keep you? He's going to keep you... I'm standing in the spirit and keeping your eyes on the prize and not falling uh, to the shit that's about to go down. All right. Whether you got to die or not, because hey, the Lord's still keeping you. All right. Or he grants you with spiritual power. And then um, you uh, light a damn devil on fire. Like uh, the damn. Like Naruto or. What's that uh, guy from Fantastic Four? The Human Torch. All right. You, you know, brother's going to be able to manipulate the elements. You know, right? Turn your body into fire or whatever. You know, because we're going to be like God. All right. Uh, burn as, um, you know, as hot as hot than the sun. You know? Verse 11, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Yeah, shit, I ain't let nobody take my crown. I ain't let no woman take my crown. My family, my own emotions, which is basically uh, Satan, you know. Nobody. Verse 12, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out. I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which New Jerusalem, which coming down out of out of heaven from my God, and I write upon him my new name. Yeah, so Lord, he gonna write uh, the new name 
on uh, the elect, you know, because we're not going to be regular uh, people no more. We're we going to be immortals, all right, uh, gods, like we were supposed to have been in the first place, but we fell from that glory of being gods. This is... Um, Isaiah 14 to 1 and it reads for the Lord have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in our own land and a stranger shall be joined with them and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them and the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids and they shall take them captives whose captives they were they shall rule over their oppressors. Yeah, and that's what's gonna happen. You know, and we about to enter to that soon, soon. Very, very, very soon. Yeah, we gonna rule over all our oppressors. Every single nation that had a hand in our downfall, hey, we gonna rule over you. With a with an iron fist. Same way how, how, like y'all ruled over us. And uh, took us down. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear, and from the horror bondage wherein thou was made to serve. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How has thy oppression ceased? The golden city ceased. Yeah, and that's what we're seeing right now. This golden city, Babylon, the great riches of America, according to the Bible, ceasing, hyperinflation, uh, the morale of people is through. I mean, shit, everything is broke, you know, because Esau Edom, he turned everything upside down. Like, even it's, like, the the relationship between a man and a woman is destroyed because he gave these women feminism. Masculinity is destroyed because uh, they're always putting, um, like, the man, you know, we grew up watching The Simpsons and Family Guy and all these other different shows. Is is no is nowhere no no man in sight for real for real, and if he is in sight, he a, he a buffoon, an idiot, and the woman is um, the smart one. All right, it says the Lord have broken the staff of the wicked, the sepulcher of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted, and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars in Lebanon sing. Since thou art laid down, no fellow has come up against us. Right. So when um, we come into power, hey, it's gonna be just straight rest. You know, like even the trees are gonna rejo rejoice. At uh, Esau Edom being put down. He said, Hell from beneath is moved, but he to meet thee at thy coming, it stirreth up the dead for thee. Even all the chief ones of the earth, it have raised up their thrones, all the kings of the nation, all they that speak and say unto thee, Thou art also become weak as we, thou art be like unto us. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread on, under thee, and the worms cover thee. Yeah. So that's what the nation is going to uh, say to Esau Edom, you know, when he fall. How are thou fallen from heaven, a Lucifer? Right. And that's, it's, it's not talking about the spiritual demon Satan. It's talking about Esau Edom. Right. Because uh, Lucifer just means light bearer. And what type of uh, light that is he bearing? He bearing wicked light, you know? He uh, presenting evil as righteousness, all right? It says, Son of the morning, how are thou cut down from the ground which did weaken the nations? But thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High, right? And so that's what happened. 
You know, that's what he did. He said, I, I would be like the Most High. You know, uh, making these different um, military missiles and satellites and all that. Because, hey, all this shit going to get knocked down. You know? It's going to be like, a, you know, like when they remodel your house. <laughs> you know? And the way how the white man got it modeled is nasty, filthy. But the elect, we gonna come through and, um, you know, knock all that shit down and and uh, get you to remodel it, tell you to straighten up. <laughs> That's what your how about Shemuel Shah is gonna do, you know, through his uh, men. All right, shit, we can't wait. They can type in Jesus, hey, that's what you see. That white man. But it's not the way how the Lord looked. It's not how he looked. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall never really look upon thee and consider thee saying, Is this the man that made the whole earth to tremble and the dead shake kingdoms? That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof. That opened not the house of his prisoners. Right. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, everyone in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch and as the raiment of those that are slain. Thrust through with the sword that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden under feet. Yeah. Uh, like a damn dead body, you know, trip, tripping over bodies or stepping over bodies. All right. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Yeah, never be renowned. So this is going to happen to these Edomites. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. All right. Cause this was uh, happening now, all right. Cause uh, Esau Edom is all over the world, in every single city, every single country. All right. Let's see if I will rise up against them, said the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, said the Lord. And I will make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, said the Lord of hosts. Right. And that's what the Lord is about to do. You know, but, hey, but a lot of these people, yeah, you can't see it. Hey, but it's all good, though, because it's going to be to your detriment. And, and the elect is going to see it, though. You know, but first we got to uh, get tried in the fire. And, uh... It's lucky. You're going to get tried through the fire. And... Lord, Lord willing, we make it. Ecclesiastes 2 and 5. For gold is trodden in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Yeah, so gold is trodden in the fire and acceptable men. So Lord going to see if, uh, you know, if you made a gold, you're going you gonna to flourish, right? Like all them pretties going to get off you. You're going to become more humble and more smarter and better. If you made a wood, you're going to burn, right? Wood eventually... Uh, you know, is you know stay burnt, then eventually they they go out. You made a paper shit, you gonna just uh, burn up in a second. All right, man. If you made a metal, that's strong stuff. Hey, you gonna survive. You know, like gold, silver, all that. And so uh, with that, I'm gonna give all praise and glory to Howell. By Shimmy Al Shah, by Shimmy Kakarash, hope this is edifying and I want to see Shalom.